So hi everybody. So we are at the um, United States Air Force Armament uh, Museum. So I thought I would share uh, that with you guys. They've got all kinds of cool planes and all kinds of cool stuff. So I'm going to walk around and they got something to go inside and share. So I'm going to walk around and I'm going to show you guys the museum. So there's one big plane. This one says we can't get close to it, something's wrong, so we gotta stay out of that. But I can kinda go in. From what I can see from right here, it says it's a B-52. It says it's currently under restoration. So they're um, redoing this one. That is a big plane. So then the next one is this big black one here. Look at this. Some of them you can get inside, so we'll tour some of them. And um, okay, here we go. Let's see. This one looks like a space shuttle. So this one's called the SR-71A Blackbird. So this tells you about the plane, so you have to screenshot that and check it out. So this is a helicopter. Look at this. So this is a MH-53 Pavlo. Let's see. These are massive planes. It's kind of interesting if you want to just come out and walk around and look at the different planes that the Air Force has, Eglin has. Some of them you can tour, but I guess they not let you tour some of them anymore. Okay, so here's another one. Look at that. And these planes, they have them all in the front and they have them in the back. And they also, we're going to go inside. They have a thing inside where you can go in. And this is in Fort Walton. In case anybody that doesn't know wants to come out and visiting and check it out. This is in Fort Walton.
one is a B25 Mitchell. Y'all can screenshot that and read about it. Each one has a thing on it. There's a story of that one. That just goes around. They have a little bit of history stuff sitting here. History of the Air Force. They have History of Air Force Part 2. And then they have maps of the Air Force facilities. Let me go back just in case you wanted to screenshot that. Maybe I was too fast. There's that one. And then there's that one. And then you come around and here's those. This is how it's changed throughout the years for them to preserve the planes. There's that one. There's this one. the glare. I'm trying to get the glare off of it, but the glare is pretty bad. And then, oh, here's this. And then, oh, they have one over here. There's that. And then here's the next plane we have. It's kind of cool. There's the propellers, the wings. It's kind of symbol. I'm not really sure what kind of symbol that is, but these are massive planes. These So this one is a fine fortress. And then it comes over here and tells them, okay, so these are those symbols I was telling you about. Here's so this is 96th bomb group. <clears throat> different they're different bomb groups, okay. And all these planes are real. These are uh, they're actually real planes. Kind of like a <clears throat> plane graveyard, I guess. <laughs> um, see, here's another one. This one's called the Cabin Air. This is EB57, and that's that one. They have them all locked up, so I don't know if it's a they don't want nobody touching the handles of the COVID thing or what's going on, but they don't let you look inside. They usually let you go inside of them and check them out, but it doesn't look like it looks like every one of them is. And also, the admission to this museum here is free. So if you're in the town and you're vacationing or anything like that, and you want something to do with your friends and family, that's not going to cost you an arm and leg. You can come and bring the kids and walk around and let them see the planes, and it's free. So that's another good thing about it. Captain Forrester Buck Dalton. I don't know if you can see that. So, let's just finish going around here. They do have, and they go when you go inside, they do have a gift shop and stuff. <clears throat> This is the back of that plane. So here's another one. This is a massive plane. Look at this. How these things fly as heavy as they are. 
I don't have a clue. Look at this. And the museum's open, I think, from like 8 to 5. So you can come out here and... So this is called the First Lady Aircraft. says it's called the first lady got some kind of like TV it looks like guns coming out so gun thing sticking out and then you come on around here went underneath it walking underneath it and it comes right on out it goes all out look at this So it's worth coming out and you know spending the day you can walk around and look at all the different airplanes so it's worth coming out and spending the day checking it out let's see what the let's go over here and see these are the These were where you were able, able let's see what happened here. Let's see why they can't let you tour. So what the reason is. Yeah, they locked them all up, so we're not allowed to tour them anymore. Probably some kind of COVID restriction guidelines or something. Okay, so this is our next one. Let's go see what this one is. Okay, so this one is called an A-10A Thunderbolt II. So let's, this is the front of that one. Okay, so here's the next one. This is a smaller plane. I 
This one's got some going to the front. It's got some like missile stuff on it. These are like missiles. I don't have to go find out what kind of look at they are. Let's go see what this one is. This plane is called. Sixteen Fighting Falcon. That's that one. Got a little chair where you can sit if you get tired and want to rest. Now this one's kind of cool. This one got I like all the little stickers and this, this is called Gulf Spirit. Back of it. Let's see. You can spend half your day walking around out here looking at these planes. Crows, fighting crows. And this one is, let's see what this one is. Here's another big one. You can't walk over on that one. It says, please do not walk over there. So I don't know going on with that one unless it's being restored so there's that one and then there's this one this is cool looking like it's got a big long nose let's see if this is and we'll do the walk around the plane this one is looks like an avivark f11 This is a this is a long plane. The name of the pilot that was on the thing. What's that? In the rescue part.
Okay, so there's that one. So we're gonna walk around and we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one. And then after we do all the planes, we're gonna go inside. They, they got a place on the inside also. It's pretty cool. Okay, so this one is called the Phantom. And it looks like this. And it has one of those missile things on it. Check it out. Major Tom Spicer. So one person was in there and then come back over here. And then one person was in there. Oh, wow. Not leave them much for moving room. Okay, so over here we have some stuff. But so we can't go in over there. It says it's got work in progress. So, look. We'll, I think we can go this far. This is a helicopter. It says keep out, so I'm gonna respect them and not go in there. We try to follow all the, the rules and regulations so they'll keep letting me video. So there's that. You can smell like gas or diesel or something out here. This one's a bomb. So, looks like this. That's a bomb. So this is another, I guess this one's like a missile, like a tomahawk missile. Let's see, what does it say? Oh, it is a missile, okay. So there's that. It's a missile. What's cool about this one is they got some kind of like little dog tags on them or something. I don't know. Let's see what it says. This one says... Missile. It's got the name of the missile on it, so that's pretty cool. Okay. So then we just keep walking on around, and here's another one. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is cool. This is kind of like a missile launch. Look at that. It's a tactic training wing plane. It is a T-Bird plane. T-33A T-Bird plane. So there's that plane. And here's another one. This over here, though, this missile stuff, this is cool. We're gonna walk over there in a little bit and check out that missile. Let's see. There's this one. So this one is a thunder strike. Looks like that. And a missile, let's see, here it is. So 
This one is called a Mace Missile. this one so there's this one and this one is called a scorpion and then here's this one this is Severa plane, I think. And it's <laughs> Captain, and it's got Butch Butch 2, and then you come on around it. It looks like this one is on the other side. It's got a thing called, named Betty. <laughs> it's kind of cute for a plane. So we have this one. This one is called Super Saber. And this one's called a Bud Day Misty one. See that? And while we're over here on this side, I'll show you this one. This looks like a missile launch. Not really sure. Let's let's walk over here and see what we got. Here we go. Let's see. It's a bomb launcher platform. another one So this plane is called, let's see what this one's called. This one is a voodoo plane. Okay. That's a first. And then here's another one. That one's called the Starfighter. And then you got another one of these massive planes. This one's called the U.S. Air Force. And they have this one over here. So this one is called, let's see.
jet. And then this one over here, they got the markers all messed up, so I gotta find the markers between these planes. Okay, so here's another one, Phantom. And then this one is Sky Master. It's a helicopter of some sort. It's And it looks like yeah, they have picnic areas out here also. So you can come out here and have walk around and have lunch. If you wanted to bring you something to eat. They got they have um, porta potties out here and they have picnic areas out here. So you can come out here and just make a day of it. You can bring you some lunch and you can bring some lunch and have lunch and walk around the museum. This one here. It's called the fish bed. Let's see what this one is. And then you walk down here a little ways and you have, on the way out, you have all these missiles. Oh yeah, let's see. They're the same ones on both sides, so we'll just do one side. Or bombs, I'm sorry, these are bombs, not missiles. That was a general purpose bomb. And then down here. It's another bomb, different size. And there is a closer of the picnic area and everything. If you wanted to come out and have lunch. So here's a chemical bomb. It says it's a KC-18 chemical bomb. There's that. And this is what this one looks like. Check that out. And then they have this tank over here. It says it's an EOD tank. It's got EOD right on the back of it. So I'm assuming it's a bomb thing. Let's go over here and see. What's oh, a scout vehicle? Okay. It's an armored scout vehicle. This is pretty cool looking. Look at this. It's got like little doors. Okay, so there's one more thing I want to show you that's outside, and then we're going to go inside because I think it's fixing to rain, so we're trying to get everything down on the outside. Let's go check out this little bitty plane. Let's go see what this is. So here's the name of this one, and it looks like this. Oh, it's we'll see what this is. I 
And this is Nurses of the Ascension. Let's see, here's one. This is pretty cool. This is Florence Nightingale from 1820 to 1910. And then there's her picture. And then I think you go this way. Let's see, we go this way. This is from 1893 to 1987. Tell us about different nurses throughout the year. There's her. And then you come around. This one's 1947 to present. says my stone is red for the blood thy shed the metal I bear is my country's way to show they care if I could be seen by all mankind maybe peace will come in my lifetime okay so this is the inside it's two-story museum they have a little video that you can watch milestone in progress and the lady did tell us that they were expanding so they're gonna be making the museum bigger so that's really awesome and this is two stories and they do have an elevator just in case you can't do stairs trying to take some pretty good videos. I know the glare is pretty bad and I'm trying to get the glare off of it guys. Check this out. Look at this. So this one here is, we're gonna go into this room, it's a vault, and it's called the Weapons Display. This right here is a Browning M1918 automatic training aid. Look at that rifle. Okay, so here we, that says don't touch the glass. So. There is a rifle, there's a 30 caliber, there's a shotgun. Okay, now these look like different handguns. Look at this, this is cool again, look at that. It's a Colt Experiment Rifle, 20 Fireball.
behind me. It's a M4, it's a 40 mm cannon gun. These are different handguns. This gun. This is called an elephant gun. Look at this. These are Canon Mutation 30. There's another large gun. A Canon gun. And this looks like this is like the middle of the ammunition. It's the way that look on the inside. Machine gun. Look at this. It says do not touch the exhibit, so I don't know what kind of gun it is. Let's see. You can tell the tag. It's a Gatlin gun. Okay. It's an automatic. A little video on how they build gun bullets. So this is a 60 caliber gun. It's a gun pod, it says it's a gun pod. There's some more guns. There's just so many different guns. I've never seen some <laughs> different guns like Starts there. Comes all the way. Okay, so then you walk out here.
Here's like a tank. He took his tank out. That's a beautiful picture. This is called the, this is a picture. Mustang, P-51 Mustang. Is Captain Charles Bailey. I'm not sure what this is, but this is cool looking. <laughs> okay. So it's called The Fat Man. It says in August of 1945, the production of Manhattan Project projects become the first and only nuclear bomb ever used in warfare. Little Boy was the first nuclear weapon used, a gun type weapon using uranium-235 detonated. I see Fat Man was the second and last nuclear weapon used, detonated. So that is cool. Check it out. So this section is the prisoner of war section. Watch your step here. There's a brick. These are cigarettes. Check them out. That's how you get close. The matches. This is a wanted poster, information leading. There were 30. And they have a display of how they lived. So you can see inside the person, they had just this. And that was it. That's what they had. It's the prisoner of war. And then there's a flag. And then they had this little door here. It was all just this small little door. And that was it. And it looked like if you've been down here, it opens, and that's how they got their food and stuff. This is like a, a diary, and there's a fork, spoon and knife they ate with. There's a shark plane. Big plane. There's another big missile. These are the inside of the of the bombs. That's what it looks like on the inside has been cut in half. I'll catch up with you. <laughs> War helmets. 
So this is an Airborne Battlefield Command Center. So we're gonna get, it's kind of, so we're gonna walk in here. And as you walk around, so watch your step and come up. Oh, it's a control panel. Look at all these chairs. It's like a control center of a people sit and work these little gadgets here. I guess this is why this is a picture where people were. up in here and got a little step and it's a bathroom you can't really see but there's the sink and over there's the toilet and you walk out these are all the flags come around here This is this propeller. This is a thunderbolt. This is kind of cool, I thought. Okay. It's got a rocket. And this is a United States Air Force firefighter. I thought it was an astronaut. <laughs> this is called a bunkin' buster. Bunker buster, I'm sorry. And then it has Ohio Express. These old soft drink cans, Pepsi and old RC can, bottle of water. So this is a target, that bullet, and that's what it that's what the damage does. That's what, that bullet right there does that. They have pictures of some of the planes that are outside that are that are in flight, so it's pretty cool. It's the gun on the inside of that plane. And this place is two stories, so there's a whole nother balcony upstairs. It's a chemical dispenser. Walk in here, and they got a whole nother display in here.
that's a movie playing in the background, so I don't get in trouble for copywriting, so I'm trying to <laughs> get away from that. This is a shadow box display of the rotor tip cap, and the shadow box is from the SCAT 14. So. This is World War II for a woman. Okay, so this one is um, in memory of the last AC-47 called Spooky Gunship. It was lost in Vietnam. So check it out. It's called Spooky. It was lost. That was the pilot. Co-pilot. Navigator, load master. So this is from up above. Here we go. We're at the top of the museum now. You can see. So the top part is a lot of just posters and stuff like that kind of tell you about it. How pretty that one is. It says, watch this when walking past this mural. Keep your eyes on the large F-15 aircraft. It seems to follow you when you go downstairs. Look up. It, it's coming down at you. It's a little parachute. It's a bomb. It's all kinds of little sensors and bombs and This is called a cluster mutation. It's got a little Listen, they got all kinds of bombs in here. <laughs> this is a napalm dispenser. Goes all the way. Looks different from up here. Thing down there looks different. They have this huge American flag. It starts here, goes all the way over, <laughs> keeps going, keeps going, and there's the end of it. That's a 2,000 pound general purpose bomb. This is a display of the Tokyo do little Tokyo raid. This plaque here, it says a bug plaque is a replica of the mounted on the dock of the Oakland Armor Terminal. Here's the Bomb Raider's Oath. This is the Combat of Europe. That's that one. Tells you the story about that. 
the Nazis in Europe. And then the air gunnery. And then you come on down here and it has another one. This is the uh, Pearl Harbor attack. What's that one? Over here is the top part of the shark plane. This says dogfight over battlefield and you can walk up and step up on this little display and look down and then it comes up. It has all these planes. So this is the picture of the Wright brothers. Display, get a close up of the planes here. And the whole thing comes out like this. This is really cool, it's plane displays. All these planes. Here's another one of them plane displays. A sword. What is this? It says test is more than what we do, it's who we are. It's a chemical, war, uh, chemical warfare defense coverall suit. So this is a scoop disc. It's a symbol mount at the inner drum of an ammunition loading system. These are different kind of metals that they have. Air Force Cross, they have Purple Heart, Bronze Star. There's all kinds of them. It's, kind of... it's a picture of the Purple Heart. So guys, that was the um, Air Force Armament Museum in Fort Walton Beach. Uh, guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be loading some more up also in the next couple weeks or so. Um, so, and everybody have a wonderful and safe Christmas if I don't get to post any more videos up. And y'all have a wonderful day.